Hello everybody, today we will be discussing uh, BMUD which is a LaTeX class which is used for making presentations. Now all you need is a tech file and with LaTeX uh, installed uh, machine. Now this is a Ubuntu 16 with LaTeX installed and uh, the editor which I will be using is uh, Visual Studio Code which has a LaTeX extension installed in it. So let's get on with it and open our tech file which I will be sharing with you. So this is my tech file and I have, I have an extension which is called LaTeX Workshop. We can also install it. <coughs> so uh, let's go back to the tech file and, uh, and let's see what it has. And then there is a view PDF option which you can use for viewing the PDF. Now I'm building it and the shortcut for that is Control alt b Okay, now that build is complete, we can open the PDF by clicking here and then I'll hide this tech window and let's go full screen, yes. Okay, now we have, uh, we have this many slides now, nine slides are there and uh, each of them are specially designed with uh, unique features okay now let's start with the with the first line of the code which is where we specify that this is going to be a beamer presentation <coughs> and not a regular latex document now there is a section let me drag it to a right and then there is a section where we discuss all the packages which we are using in this presentation and these are all of all of them and then here you can change uh, the size of your slides and uh, adjust margins and that sort of thing and uh, here you can decide if you want to display the speaker notes or not now the current setting has speaker notes hide hidden so let me just enable the speaker notes and uh, comment out this link and use the shortcut control alt b and then you can see that build is happening okay now still the speaker notes are okay that's because i don't have uh, speaker notes in any of the slides so let me let me skip that part so later on we can add notes and then play with it okay let's come to the come to the second come to another section where we discuss all these themes so the beauty of LaTeX I mean one of the parts is that you can uh, just by uh, changing one one comment one line you can change the entire theme let's see now we have default theme I'm going to comment the default theme and I'm going to use something called Warsaw okay now I'm going to use the shortcut again Control alt b and build is happening and you see the theme has changed and let's see another another personal favorite i think is it here yeah it's cambridge us control alt b and this is isn't it an interesting thing okay so now let's keep keep this theme itself and then let's proceed and uh, and there is another fine tuning here you can you can change the theme there is a color theme also. Let's see. I have changed this thing and Control Alt B. What changes? Okay, t I think it messed up. Let's go back to the go back to the rows itself. Control Alt B. Okay, so there are the certain customizations which I have given. You can use it later on. Okay, now. Uh, yeah. So these are for page number. And uh, this section, uh, if you if you notice this this part so there are icons there are small icons which are which you can use for navigating the slides and uh, there are many icons you can just go through it so some people think that these are very annoying so there is a way to hide these and that's this 
set beamer template okay so this line i'm going to uncomment because i also don't like this so i'm going to do control alt b see this has vanished okay moving on and uh, there's a section where you can define custom commands okay the so here i'm defining a new command font vi which i'll be using at, at a later point and then we can define custom colors and these are rgb for example if you have r1 g1 yellow 0 you get yellow color and this is a custom defined color you can have all sort of like light yellow and all that and here we have a section for including a small code snippet in the in the code in the in one of the slides so this uh, starting from line 108 to in this and these are the this is the section where you specify what kind of code you are going to use so i'll be using a very low code so i specify the language as very low. i think there are two lines i'm going to comment one of them okay and then uh, what kind of font you want to use inside the code and all that and color for comments and and uh, tab size inside the code currently tab size is one and if do you want to highlight certain keywords etc and this is done using a package called listing okay so which we have we have here somewhere here yes this is the listing package let's go back to that code part and this is again another okay so i have created so this is a phone vi which i said we will be using and this is another command which i have created it's called script so what is it for let's see let's do a control find of script okay so this is where i include the code you can just type script and then path to the code and then a sample caption for the code and you will see that code and everything here see a sample code and then this are my, this is my very low code which is which is a file inside code snippets let's see where that is control o code snippets a code so this is a code which you see here okay now let's close it go back to latex presentation and uh, where were we we are okay so we are now we are done with the settings now let's create a title slide so, so far we are not begun we are not started uh, the slides okay so let's see uh, let's see the title slide so what do you want in the title slide you can have a <coughs> of course uh, the title this is this and uh, your name <coughs> you want to you want to tell your name and then your institute and your course you can specify a date now the date is empty now if we just i think if we just give date without brackets let's see what what comes control alt b building so nothing comes so i think you can hard code the date let's see today is 16th may 2020 now control alt b you'll see the date there okay now moving on let's start the document this is the keyword begin and then document here we are starting the document okay so that means we are starting the slides now every slide every slide is put inside something called begin frame and end frame okay so see this this entire thing is a frame and it so happened this is a and if you want it to be a title slide then this is another keyword if you just type title page so this will put the contents which you have created for the title already here and you get this slide okay so you want to see some and then okay that's it yeah and then iitb innovation lab it is another extra thing which i have put moving on to the second slide this is uh, outline of my talk today some slide slide with a code and this is a bullet point so if you want to introduce uh, introduce a bullet point bullet uh, item list then you can use begin itemize and end itemize and then put every item 
after this slash item keyword now if you want to put numbers let's see if you want to put numbers begin uh, enumerate enumerate is another interesting thing so this uh, extension LaTeX workshop is very interesting this it does auto fills and all that see when I ta started typing enumerate it just created it not not only did it or oh, fill that fill this line it created an end enumerate and it's suggesting an item which an is a proper indentation and then I just need to start typing okay this is like first enumerated item and control alt B okay this is your this is, this is this is a number here okay so there is there is that and then every section so now I have a, I have section here so we can have different sections each section will contain different frames so that we also can organize that's an uh, that's an optional thing just for easiness in navigating so if you see this tech extension you can navigate easily see section 1 and section 2 now let's come back to section 1 and then see the frame slide and then okay I don't want to see this one here presentation back to the presentation now let me show you how we can add a reference in a slide so where where we so this is a slide okay so this is how we add the add the reference I can't hide it. I think there's some setting. So okay. So inside, uh, I want to add a reference as a footnote. So you can just type slash footnote. Okay, and then you just start typing the reference. Let's see. I'll make it smaller. Shift and a reference. Okay, this is it. So this is this is going to add a footnote <coughs> and it will it will say a reference let's see control alt b see there is an there is an extra line in the footnote moving on sample code okay this is where we add the sample code i think we discussed it already now let's see how we can introduce an image which is uh, which is a, which is in the form of a pdf in fact you can introduce you can insert mm, any any pdf inside any slide so this is how we do it and uh, you just start a frame as usual and then there's a section called include graphics there's a command and then you can specify the width and height of the image here and then the full path to the image unless the image is in the current working directory now i have this image in my in my image folder animation.pdf this is how it looks like see and close it going back to the code so it comes here that's it and now let's see how we can introduce a table so for table you just uh, I'm just going to put my table in a Cinderella line fashion so begin center and end center inside that you'll see begin tabular and end tabular and then this vertical lines these are the columns you see this column there are like one two and three vertical lines which are this one two and three and then l says you're going to keep these entries in left aligned mode and r says right aligned so this is like first column is these are all in the left aligned mode like one two and three and these three are right aligned i think there is a center line center aligned also and then this and symbol this one is going to separate the entries in different columns and then this is going to say uh, next line new entry second th this is going to separate rows and then this h line is this one this one okay these horizontal lines yeah so essentially this h line is a, hor is a horizontal line and this is going to say that okay now your row is done you need to move on to the next row done now let's go to references this is like a standard way to add bibliography and then we start with begin bibliography and end bibliography and then there's a there's an advanced way in which you can use dot bib files which we can maybe 
discuss sometime in future and then bib item is every single item in the bibliography this is like reference to a particular paper and all that done and uh, let's move to the last slide where i'll introduce you uh, how we can add uh, hyperlinks now i wanted an image uh, which if if you click on it it should send me a mail okay and it should send me let's say a bug report about this document now how do i do that i can add a hyperlink by using href and you can have different type of hyperlinks you can just take take the user to a particular website ask them to send a mail etc so now it is to send a mail so mail to mail to it tutorials at the rate gmail.com with a subject uh, bug report and uh, and then content the content will be content will be this i think the subject is going to be this and then the content is going to be okay hi i found a bug in your beamer template now you might want to look at what's going on let's see what happens when i click here yes you see here we, we can it just auto fills the email id which i gave which i gave and fills the title mm, subject for some reason is not coming but you can debug it i'm not going to send it this is just a demo cancel discard changes okay now uh, you'll see another image at the right bottom okay so what it does is if i if i click on it it will take me to a website which is this our website i'm clicking on it yeah so it opens our website okay so let us slightly slow but yeah it came and yes yeah and that's it and when you're done with uh, the document there is a there's a thing called in document okay so overall uh, this contains this slide this is uh, this this is enough for you to start with beamer and then you can use many other uh, editors like lat uh, tech tech maker and tech studio gummy and then you can have a you can even uh, work without any any of these editors let me show you how we have uh, we have this folder which which i'll be sharing let's open a terminal and then if you do ls you'll find a make file okay so let me open that make file for you make file what it does is uh, it it does it calls this pdf latex command and then creates it compiles the tech document and then creates a pdf and opens it for you now all I all I need to do is I can just safely close uh, close text to uh, VS Code. Now I have this terminal Ubuntu terminal simple terminal with LaTeX installed. Just type make. Okay and uh, yes you are, you have your presentation ready. That's it and uh, i hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching